Hello everyone and welcome to the video lecture series of mobile application development. Students, in our previous session we have seen that how the scroll view works. So now it's time to learn about the horizontal scroll view. Welcome once again. This is our instructor Janice Shah. So let's begin that how we can implement the horizontal scroll view over here. Students, same as the scroll view, we have one element or we can say the XML tag that is known as the horizontal scroll view in our layout.xml file. So here you can just scroll the elements or the view in the both horizontal and vertical both types. To scroll the vertical, we just need to simply use scroll view and to scroll the horizontal, we need to use the horizontal scroll view. Now, what we are going to build up today? So in this practical students, we have just take a simple practical, a simple horizontal view practical one, where I'm just going to take the horizontal scroll view. Inside that a linear layout is there, where I take a button. Now I'm just repeating the button one, two and three. See here the linear layout orientation is horizontal. So each and every button is appended one after another. And then when you try to run the code, you can see the buttons can move from like this in a horizontal way. Fine. So this is a very simple code. So this is the button and horizontal layout is there. So when you try to run the code, you will can see the output like see the button 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it will just move in the horizontal direction. Okay. So now let me just run the particular code and show you the output that how it works. So file open horizontal scroll view this is a simple horizontal scroll view. so simple h no let me just uh, check out the particular file horizontal scroll view example new window okay see this is a simple horizontal scroll view file XML file what we have we just have the simple horizontal scroll view where the layout height is match parent uh, sorry height is wrap content width is match parent and I just took a linear layout over there see okay let me just okay fine so I think now it's visible to you so this is the linear layout students I just take a linear layout where the width is match parent height is wrap content background color is already given to the linear layout now what we need see we need just a button over there so i just take a button height and width is a branch can wrap content wrap content text is button one text size is 20 dp and the layout margin is 4 dp now i'm just going to uh, copy and paste the button again and again let me just remove this button so you will get the idea that i just created them okay so okay there are so many buttons let me just change the button name over there so instead of button five let me just add the button 477 uh, button 677 button 777 okay these are the name of the buttons now if you want to change the color of the button then you can also do that uh, I think the property to change the color of the button is button background tint background tint is there color is black maybe yes background tint is there the property so let me just change the once again over here so instead of the background color black let me just take any other like a a a a, a, a six times a so it is a ash color so we'll get the idea that yes sir it is a different button nothing else okay so let me just add a background tint color over here and change it to the dark as well so now let me just add it one color over here as well fine so this is nothing this is just show you that how the it works fine so now let me just run the particular code and show you the output that how the horizontal layout works see i did nothing i just changed my constraint layout to the horizontal scroll view fine now let me just run the code and show you the output so students here in the android manifest file we have two different activities the number one we have that is known as the main activity and number two is a simple horizontal scroll view 
so first i want to show you the example of the simple horizontal scroll view that's why let me just remove this intent filter from here and add it over it here let me just cut down from the main activity file and add it inside the horizontal scroll view so this this example we are going to see about the how the button looks like okay where is it let me just show the activity file how this button looks like okay let me just click on the run button and run the screen and show you the output that how it looks like so soon as my application is launching soon see this is the horizontal scroll view example where you can see my buttons are there the background color is all about the horizontal background color which we have already given see this is a wait a minute let me just show you open up the this activity and clear one this so okay so this is how students you can see the background color is all about the pink for the linear gradient okay nothing else so let me just show you see this is the button button so this is button one button two button three button four uh, button four seven seven button six double seven which we have added and this seven triple seven fine so this is all about the horizontal scroll view example when this is a very simple example okay now we are going to see that how we can implement the card view inside the horizontal scroll view so students we have just recently seen the how the horizontal scroll view works now let me show you another example with the combining of the card view so now you will get the exact feeling of the how the paytm offers works so what i did i just created a card view inside the horizontal scroll view where uh, this is a card view students nothing else let me just show you the first uh, design so this is the card view one card is there inside it i just take a linear layout where one image is there image view is there this is the text format is there so this is a nothing but it's a card view and i'm just going to try to repeat the card view once again uh, more than one time that's why it will just uh, gives a feeling of the horizontal cards okay so let me just show you that what is the code for that i'm just taking a linear layout in the as a vertical format or oh, it's a linear layout i need change nothing this is a horizontal scroll view this is matters a lot if you do not want to take linear layout directly start with the horizontal scroll view then also fine now see this is a linear layout inside the horizontal scroll view i just take a linear layout and inside it i just take a card view inside the card view what i did i just take a linear layout once again then the image view and the text view and complete the linear layout this linear layout should be a vertical format only now let me show you the first see this is how it works let me show you the code for them and you will get the idea that how we can implement horizontal scroll view over here so this is the main activity java file students i did not add any code over here this is the same program what i did i just added the drawable icons over here let me just add one icon for you uh, vector asset instead of email uh, wait a minute let me just take what i need to take over here it is uh, filter frames change the color of that okay and click on the next and then click on the finish button so same like this means you can add the different image icons over here and this is my activity underscore main.xml file now you will get the idea that how it looks like so see this is a linear layout by default uh, the orientation is vertical and height and width is a match friend i just took it to show you uh, let me just take a text view over here so text view uh, width is wrap content height is wrap content then the text is we can say uh, horizontal scroll view example width card view i think it's uh, too big text size let me just keep it 20 dp okay now let me just keep it as a 40 dp okay so now give the margin margin top 20 dp margin 
Okay, let me just give it margin to at all 20 dp. Just give it the 20 dp from the all four side, and then uh, let me just change the style textile as a bold. Okay, now alignment text alignment center. So now see then text alignment center. So I don't think that we need to move uh, do anything else for this. The 40 is too big. You can just keep it 20 only. Fine. So it looks good. Okay. Now, so this is nothing but it's a text view. So we will get the idea that I just take a text view. We'll take a linear layout just to make add any view component on the above of the card view. Nothing else. Okay. So this is my horizontal scroll view, students. Uh, height and width is a match parent. Height is a wrap content. The margin top is 10 dp. The inner layout inside it, I just take a linear layout. So if you want to see the linear layout, let me just show the background color. Background color is black. See, so this highlighted background color black is our linear layout. Okay. Now let me just remove it. If you want to see the background, let me just take a background color of the horizontal view. Okay. So this is all about our horizontal scroll view. Fine. So this is our horizontal scroll view designs. Now this is the linear layout inside it. I just take a card view. Now inside the linear layout students, I did the linear layout as a layout with mesh parent height as a wrap content. Orientation is vertical and it's a center of horizontal. Now I just take a one image view over there. Inside the image view, the account box is there and the text view is there which contains the contact. Now this card view, I'm just going to repeat the particular card view. Okay, see this is a particular card view which I'm going to repeat and copy and paste on the below of that. So let me just copy and paste over here. Once again, copy and paste over here. So now instead of this first particular card view, let me just change the name from contact to what we have added any calendar i don't know let me just check it out so we have added a wait a minute filter frames so frames and change the icon so it's a filter frames fine see now our frame is already added just keep it the contact as it is on the below of that fine so we users need to copy and paste the whole card layout again and again and how when whatever the amount of card layers you want to create you can just create them so this is all about the scroll view design so now our designing part is completed we do not need to add any code in the background uh, back end code okay so what we need to do we just now our design is ready now let me just run the code and show the output that, that how it looks like students now just let me just change this intent filter from here to here and remove it from the main uh, this activity simple horizontal activity because i have added my card view inside my activity underscore main dot file okay so this is my horizontal scroll card view which where we have just recently added the frames as a card now let me just click on the run activity again and show the output So application is installing and it's launched successfully. So now this is the original scroll view example. This is the card view. So this is a particular card you can see. See the contact once again because I have added two times. So this is the horizontal scroll view example with the card view. See the contact, frames, emails, balance, event and box. Everything is here, right? So isn't it looks like a PTM offer card view, right? this is you can implement students very easily this is nothing but it's a scroll view example with card view so so students i think you like this video of the horizontal scroll view where we try to implement the two different things one is a simple horizontal scroll view example and second one is a horizontal view with the card view fine so now if you want to build such type of designing in your uh, for your application like a PTM offers then you can build by yourself as well. So if you have any doubt in this lecture then please feel free to ask me. Thank you so much.